Hey guys, today I'm talking about the LB Stride. I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised how much I liked this one. I've tried a lot of wearable pumps and the tubes, right? Like I wasn't sure I would like the tubes. This is the first wearable pump I've tried that had tubes, but the tubes actually came with a few benefits. For one, these are so lightweight. I don't know if I had fully realized how heavy the other wearables all are, and these just sit in your bra so nicely. When they're not on, you could totally <laughs> forget that you have them in. Also, having just one motor means that these two are gonna be pumping at the same time. For other wearables, they are not connected, so they pump at different times, which just can feel a little funny. It's not a big deal, but it can just feel a little funny when it's like suck, 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 suck. This one, at least it's pumping at the same time. Also, with there just being one motor, there's only one thing to charge. With other wearables, you have to be charging two different things. So I feel like this actually does come with its own set of benefits. So this is what they look like on. I know people are always curious about that. So, kind of noticeable, but you could get away with it in my opinion. And then this hook can just go right there. <laughs> I got really good outputs when I used them. I found them to be comfortable to wear, easy to wear. The app is easy to figure out. Also, I like that you can use it without the app. It'll still tell you what level you're on with the lights on it so I like that you can use it with the app or without the app all in all I thought it was a great pump and a really nice option okay let's jump into assembly first take your shield this is your duck bill put that on take your diaphragm put it on like this, this there is a trick to this you kind of want to fold over this part it's pretty clear once you have the pump but definitely remember to do that so this part kind of just seals over now you're gonna take this silicone ring and put this on the front of your pump and make sure this ring is totally smooth. No twists or anything. And then you can suction these two together. There is a little arrow at the top there that can help you align everything. Put that on and then this right here you can use to plug your pore hole so it has this little hole right there you're gonna put this around this raised part right there and then you can take this and just plug it and now you just take this little part and it clicks right in and you are ready to pump. I thought I'd mention the manual says that you only have to replace the washable parts every six months. That's a lot longer than a lot of other pumps out there. I feel like most maybe suggest you replace them every like three-ish months. So that definitely means that the parts are high quality, which I like. It comes with a 24 millimeter flange, but you can also separately purchase a 21 or a 28. To pump, you're just gonna hold on the power button and then you can press play. It'll start on massage mode and you can see what level you're on right here. It has 10 different levels. It will automatically switch over to expression, but if you want to do that, you can press this mode button right here and that'll switch to expression. This is obviously the sound, so it's pretty quiet, especially for a wearable pump. I find this to be very quiet. With this little clip, you can just hook this on your waist. If you wanted this to be crazy quiet, you could even stash this like in a purse or something so that the sound is even more muffled. But this is, in my opinion, pretty quiet. This is a screenshot from one of my pumps just so you can like get an idea of what the app is like. So it'll tell you how long you've been pumping, the battery life of the motor, the mode you're on, expression or massage, the level you're on. You can just adjust um, your section, so turn it up or turn it down from the app. On the app, you can also set a timer, which is kind of cool. So if you know you only want to pump 20 minutes, you can set the timer so that it will automatically go off after 20 minutes, which I like that too. 
I found the app to be very easy to use, but I also really like that you can use it kind of easily without the app. You can still see what level you're on because if your phone is not working, if you need to be using your phone for something else, to me, it's really nice to have the option to use it without the app. So I like that you can kind of do both. Something kind of interesting about this pump is that it will pump 19 times and then have just like a quick little pause and then do 19 times again. I'm not sure why it does that. It doesn't bother me, but I just found that interesting. The levels and settings I liked while pumping. I liked doing levels five or six on stimulation and then levels six or seven on expression. I did two minutes on stimulation and then like 15-ish minutes on expression and my output was great. That is a couple more minutes than I would pump with my traditional plug-in pump with all wearables. I always add a couple minutes to my pump session. Wearables just seem to need a couple extra minutes. I also like these cups because you could do the fridge hack with them. That's where instead of washing your parts, you know, three times a day or however long you pump between pumps, you just store your parts in the fridge or the freezer so that no bacteria grows. I personally really like doing that. I just store the cups in the fridge between pumps and then at the end of the day, obviously give them a good scrub. To disassemble, you just pull this apart, take these two off and you're good to go. Here are some tips. I feel like you have some flexibility with the bras you use, a stretchy nursing bra, a sports bra, all would work fine. Something that maybe wouldn't work super well is a underwire bra, a padded bra, those probably wouldn't be the best. Make sure that you have the right size phalange. You can buy the 21 or 28. You could also get inserts if you're smaller than a 21. You want your nipple, not your whole areola, to be pulled in. If your whole areola is coming in, then your phalange is probably too big. If your nipple is being pulled in, but it's hitting the sides, then your phalange is probably too small. So a good fitting phalange is very important to having a good pump. Also, you really wanna make sure your nipple is completely in the center. How I do it is I take the bottom of my nursing bra on, slip this under, and then kind of roll it on to make sure that my nipple is completely in the middle. You can also take out your pore hole and just check that your nipple's in the middle and once you're pumping to make sure that it's being sucked in nicely. If one of the two pumps is making a funky noise, then my guess would be one of your parts are off, maybe the diaphragm, one of the edges is messed up, maybe something's off of the duck bill. I would take that cup apart and re-put it together just to make sure all the parts are on. If one side doesn't feel like it's sucking, I would check to make sure that one of the tubes isn't blocked. If that tube is bent or being squished maybe by your bra or something, then obviously it's not gonna be pumping right because it's not getting the air, so I would check that. If you're just not getting the suction you used to from your pump, then it may be time to replace the parts, especially if you're an exclusive pumper, then those parts are gonna get worn out a lot quicker. When you take it off, lean forward a little bit so that any milk that's around here will fall in to the cup and also that way no milk will spill. You do have pretty good mobility when using these, but you do need to stay somewhat upright. So if you need to bend down while you have your pumps in, keep your chest up and bend with the legs. <laughs> My final thoughts about this pump is it's very high quality. You can just tell that when you're looking at these parts. It's LV, which is a very reputable company, so you're probably gonna have really good customer service. It is something you can get through insurance, which is huge. I know the breastfeeding shop has it. And if you use your insurance benefit, you can maybe also use your insurance benefit to get replacement parts, which is huge. All in all, I think it's a really good pump. And after trying it, I would recommend it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was helpful to you. If you're thinking about getting the LV Stride or you have the LV Stride, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section. I'll answer as many as I can, so don't feel bad about leaving some there. Please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you or if you enjoyed it. And I would absolutely love if you subscribed to my YouTube channel if you're new here. I do pump reviews, but I also do just general mom content, day in the life, some homemaking videos. I would absolutely love if you joined my YouTube fan. All right, thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you in my next video.